Pop. I'm off to check my tiger trap. I rigged a tuna fish sandwich yesterday, so I'm sure to have a tiger by now. They like tuna fish. Hmm. Tigers will do anything for a tuna fish sandwich. We're kind of stupid that way. So, Dad, what do I do when I catch a tiger? Bring it home and stuff it, Calvin. Can't you see I'm busy? Jeez. No, really, I couldn't eat another bite. What's all this noise? You're supposed to be asleep. It was Hobbs, Dad. He was jumping on the bed. Honest. Hobbs was not jumping on the bed. Now go to sleep. You were too jumping on the bed. Well, you were the one playing the cymbals. Show and tell is over, Calvin. Please put your tiger in your locker. In my locker? He'll suffocate. Well, at least put him under your chair. Whew, that was a close one. I'll say. Seven plus three? Seventy-three. Good night, Calvin. Night, Dad. Hey, aren't you going to say good night to Hobbs? Good night, Hobbs. That's it. No story, no smooch. Go to sleep, you sissy. What's this? Taste it. You'll love it. You know you hate something when they won't tell you what it is. Outrage! Why should I go to bed? I'm not tired! It's only 7.30! This is tyranny! Good night, Calvin. Will you check for monsters under the bed? No monsters, you're safe. What about in the dresser? Calvin, I'm sure there are no monsters in your dresser. Go to sleep. Great! Oh, but that's where they are. They'll come out and kill us as soon as we fall asleep. So who's gonna fall asleep? Well, we'll have to get the monsters first. You irritate them with this horn, and I'll nail them with the dart gun when they come out. Get ready! I hear one coming! Hang, 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 hang. What's all the noise? Ah! A monster in the house! Dear, will you come up here a minute? I think I wounded him. Give me the bat and I'll finish him off. Any monsters under the bat tonight? No, no, uh uh. Well, there better not be. I'd have to have to torch one with my flamethrower. You have a flamethrower? They lie, I lie. Mom, can I drive on the way back? No, Calvin. Can I steer then? I promise I won't crash. No, Calvin. Can I work the gas and brakes while you steer? No, Calvin. You never let me do anything. Here we find a thriving city, brand new buildings, a bustling economy. A scenic thoroughfare winds through this happy municipality something 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 like that here a farmer drives to his livestock market tragically the serene metropolis lies directly beneath the hoover dam this smells like bat barf that does it young man you are excused to your room don't you think that's a little harsh, dear? Don't you think he'll get hungry? Calvin has got to learn some manners. He won't starve to death. And extra pepperoni. We'll see what the principal has to say about your attention span, young man. The valiant spaceman Spiff has been captured. The aliens doubtlessly want the secret formula to the atomic napalm neutralizer. A moment from the torture chamber, Spiff springs into action. Why is he eating his hall pass? Do you believe in fate? You mean that our lives are predestined?